and this becomes really powerful for working with clients because um, some modalities are tremendous. Anytime you want to really focus on your own personal development and you don't have a coach around or somebody that can hold the space for you to do your own personal development work, do this. If you're going into a situation and you find that it's um, overwhelming or intense and it's something that you're not really looking forward to, take a second, close your eyes, and just pay attention to the way that you're storing that, that um, hypothetical situation in your mind. It's hypothetical because it hasn't happened yet. And I'm going to make a guess here, but I would venture that it's probably someplace in front of you and to your upper right quadrant. So you'd point up with your right hand going up here. Um, now it's not always the case. It, it, could be a, it could be anywhere. There's an infinite number of possibilities, but that's just kind of where I would look because that's going to be our, our visual construct cortex. And so if you're going to be, or quadrant rather, so if you're going to be putting something into the future, in many cases it's going to be going up there. So using this information, think about the thing that's coming up that you don't want to do. Is it black and white or is it color? Is it moving or is it still? Is it life size, larger than life or smaller than life? Is it in front of you, to the side of you, behind you, above you, below you? What else do you notice about it? Can you hear sounds? Perhaps it's somebody's voice and you can hear their voice running. Is it in stereo? Is it on one side or the other? Is there a synesthesia? When you see something in this hypothetical situation or you hear something, do you get a kinesthetic feeling? For many people, it often is a kinesthetic internal because it's all in your mind, right? And uh, what they'll do is they'll hear somebody's voice or they'll see a situation in their mind's eye and then they'll have a body sensation like, you know, it, it uh, takes their breath away or causes their heart to palpitate quickly or gives them a heart pain or maybe it hits them in the solar plexus and it feels like the wind got knocked out of them or gives them kind of a, a nauseous feeling in their stomach. These are some modalities that are affecting your kines uh, kinesiology and they're tremendously powerful. So concerning that hypothetical future situation that you don't want to do, imagine that you could shrink it down so that it's just about this big, you know, maybe a foot by one foot. Put a frame around it, make it black and white, take any sound out of it, and then move it down below you. And actually notice what it would be like to stand on top of that situation. That's an example of playing with some modalities. For some people it might have caused um, an internal shift or a, a reframe of the way that they were perceiving that hypothetical situation in the future. For other people, maybe that wasn't quite the solution and that's where I would deal with a, a client and get live feedback and go, okay, did that work for you? Um, maybe if it's something that it's really important to you but it just seemed um, like you couldn't really grasp it or you couldn't you know, make sense out of it. Well, maybe it was a hypothetical situation, but it was only, you know, one inch by one inch. It was this tiny little thing that had, you know, there's no real clarity about it, and it seems like it's just out of reach, and you don't really know how you're going to fit this into your future. Well, take that situation, make it life-size, move it right in front of you, and in fact, give it color if it, if it doesn't have color, and make it a, into a video so that you can see some sort of motion in there, Turn some volume up so you can hear what's going on and notice, how do you want to be feeling in that situation? Confident, competent, present, you name it. Whatever it is that you want to be feeling, notice where you would feel that in your body and then while you're viewing this hypothetical situation in front of you, notice what it would be like to change like, the, uh, the pitch of it so you could actually be kind of like looking down onto the situation. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just giving you some examples of playing with some modalities. And these are, I constantly use these when I work with a client. Um, they are tremendously powerful. It's a new concept for most, most of us, but we really do store um, images in different places. You know, I could, here's, here's a great one for you too. Think of a food that you absolutely love. And then point wherever it seems natural for that food to be. Uh, I'm thinking of a great Mexican burrito right now. Um, I love Mexican food. Um, 
Now, something that I absolutely dislike, and I'm pointing right here down to my uh, lower right. Something that I absolutely dislike, and I like the taste of it, but it kills my stomach. And there's another expression for you too. It's a metaphor. It really hurts my stomach. Broccoli, and it's down over here behind me, and that's just where I store it. So, at first this might sound kind of crazy, but play with it. Notice where you store your representations of reality inside your mind, and you'll find that they all have different places according to how you want to perceive that memory or that idea or that concept. So I hope this has been insightful. If uh, you have any questions regarding my, qu my coaching services, and you're interested and you wanna try on some of these modalities, um, and play with it and see what changes you can create in your future, visit my website, www.michaeljemery.com. I hope to see you inside. I'm here to serve. Be amazing. Thanks.